is up guys i'm daddy gamer fred and welcome back to another fortnite guide video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can take your tuna fish creative edit style and make it into one of your beloved nintendo characters mario now it goes without saying that in order to do this you would need the tuna fish character and of course that is tied to the season eight battle pass for chapter two so you will need to have the battle pass and have enough battle stars in order to unlock the tuna fish character which i believe he's on the first page and he's like nine stars if i'm not mistaken right here in the first page right in the beginning and then once you unlock him you actually got to go and play and then in the game unlock all the color variations now i also did a video already on where all the bottles are at for tuna fish in order to unlock all these color variations so you can edit tuna fish how you please and then when you go into your locker and you select your tuna fish you get the option to edit styles and then also outside of just the character styles that you can choose from which is so dope because they got so many different characters here that you could just jump in and play as including bright bomber one of my faves you can press r2 and basically create your own version of tuna fish and that is what we're going to be using today to make mario now granted i've seen a ton of different versions of this so i don't know who to actually credit but let me know in the comment section below if you've seen a creator that i already have done this but where i'm getting my suggestions from are from the fortnite reddit someone posts this up and i just had to do a video on it so i'm gonna have the link to this reddit post in the comment section below but they not only did mario but did a ton of nintendo characters so that's what we're going to be going over in this video i'm not going to just be showing you mario i'm going to be showing you how to do luigi and link and some other fun characters that we are going to get into so without no further ado this is how you make mario toonfish inside of fortnite i'm going to start off with the hat obviously mario's iconic red m cap now you can't put any letters on the hat but the red hat is going to actually have to do. And this, of course, the ruby red variation. Jumping back to the face, you want to pick the yellow that is most human looking as possible. Now we got banana yellow, which is, again, for me, too yellow. But then we got desert sand, which is perfect. I've seen a lot of people going for Midas gold for Mario. And I'm like, ugh, it kind of looks too, too yellow. The same thing with the pumpkin orange. And of course, the Renegade Red, you don't want to go that dark on Mario. Let's actually throw him with the Desert Sand. Let's jump all the way to the scarf. And we are going to give Mario a blue scarf to kind of represent that blue shirt. I'm going to go with the darkest blue we can go with. And that is this one, right? Yeah. The Crystal Blue. And again, if you look at it, it kind of looks like Mario's shirt. Unfortunately, that's a big issue we can't change the shirt on tuna fish we're kind of stuck with that black shirt but putting this blue scarf kind of hints that this is you know mario moving over to the pants or the belt you could say and we're gonna also put this one crystal blue to match the shirt to kind of make it as blue as possible unfortunately it makes the buttons blue which i've seen a lot of people also making this gold i can understand that but I don't know. I think I like the blue version better. Let's let's see at the end and, and see which one we prefer. I think I like the blue. Now for the arms, we are going to go red. There we go. And I think ruby red is the red to go with. The legs, we are going to go with blue. The same blue as the shirt is the way to go. And then we're also going to make the socks the same blue. The shoes, you're going to want to pick the green it says recruit green of course that's for um jonesy green and it doesn't look as green as you would think but it's almost a brownish color and that's the color we want for mario shoes now i don't know i kind of like this mario with the blue belt but i i, I am kind of leaning towards now now that i see it fully completed i am kind of leaning towards having um yellow buttons and banana yellow maybe banana yellow might be the way to go i just don't like the yellow <laughs> on the black so um gold gold is a little bit more faint i'll let you decide i think this is the perfect mario tuna fish setup but you gotta let me know is there a better way to set up this mario 
let's talk about it in the comment section below and let's move over to another character now guys l is real in fortnite and this is what they came up with for luigi tuna fish style inside of fortnite so we're gonna leave the face desert sand just like mario the buttons and belt again it's a toss up for me i like the gold buttons but then i like the blue matching the shirt you know it matches the denim the jeans it kind of goes with the vibe and this is what the redditor has as well but i don't know i kind of want the buttons to be yellow so it's definitely up to you whichever one you prefer just like the mario i think i'm gonna go with the yellow buttons the hat obviously we're gonna pick the green and this green is um code name grn the shoes we're gonna leave it the same as mario that almost desert sand green as it as it called it. it says recruit green it's like army green but it definitely looks more brownish than anything the gloves we're gonna leave white the arms we're gonna put the same green as the hat the legs we are gonna leave blue to kind of match the overalls like if there were luigi having the pants on the same thing with the socks and the scarf while this redditor has it blue you can technically change the green how does it look green it does look cool green i like it green because again luigi has a green shirt and not a blue one so i'ma put it green let me know what you think about luigi tune fish style in the comment section below now this one i'm on the fence about this one they claim if you haven't guessed yet this one is supposed to be blaziken from pokemon i'm a huge pokemon fan and i love blaziken blaziken torchic was definitely my starter that i chose every time i play through the third generation and yeah i could see the color resemblance but i don't know it's just it's just not it exactly and it, it kind of is hard for me to say that this is a style I will actually run, especially over all the other styles that you can run with Tuna Fish. Definitely, if you are a Blaziken fan, but it's definitely not for me. Let me know what you think of this Blaziken Tuna Fish style in the comment section below. Now again, as a fan of Pokemon, this is another Pokemon. And I gotta say, this ain't it. This ain't it. This is supposed to be Mewtwo. And as a huge fan of Generation 1 and Mewtwo, oh my god, I have so many memories of first encountering Mewtwo. Boy, this, bro, it, it, bruh, this is not it at all. However, I do love the creativity. I do love to try. I do love the effort. But an all gray tuna fish, just with the purple in the middle as the belt, and then calling it Mewtwo, uh, Nah, this one's not it. Let me know what you think of Mewtwo in the comment section below. Now, this one, you might not get off the back, but this one is supposed to be Link. And, yes, I do get it. The green shirt, the green pants, kind of, the human face, but what I don't get is the hat. They have the hat as, like, if it's, he didn't have a hat on. And I don't know, I think, when I think of Link, I think the green hat. So I have to put a green hat on him. But again, and then it, it starts to not look more like Link. I'm thinking of the gloves as well. Did Link ever have gloves on? I'm not too sure. The same thing about the boots. I'm not, a, I, I just am not a huge fan of the way the Redditor put this together. Do like the legs, the white legs. I, I guess that's fine. But I guess Link always has like shorts on, doesn't he? I mean, there are pictures of Link with white pants on, so I guess that's a go. If I had to do Link, if I had to do the belt or the little thing on the side, I'll make it brown if I can. Young Link from Ocarina of Time has the belt on, and that's where I like love Link is the Ocarina of Time, obviously. And then the legs, I would kind of make it the same color as his face. But it's hard to do the boots. The boots, there's no real brown to actually give him. So it is kind of hard to do the boots. I see why they went with that color. For the boots i kind of don't know why they went that color with the hands though because i would kind of go with the same color as the skin with the hands and then again i just don't like this color combination but let me know what you think of link as tuna fish in the comment section below now is there any minecraft fans out there that watch my videos and can you tell me who this is supposed to be because this is supposed to be steve from minecraft and I gotta say, nah, I'm not even a Minecraft player. I have never played Minecraft. 
I do want to play. I do want to get my daughter into it. I do think that would be her type of game is just like creating stuff. So I do want to try it with my daughter one day. However, I have yet to touch Minecraft. And I know who Minecraft Steve is. I play Super Smash Brothers. I watch Etika a ton <laughs> to know who Steve is. So looking at this, do I see Steve? Not really. But let me know what you think of this tuna fish Steve style in the comment section below. Now again, calling on Minecraft fans. This right here is supposed to be Alex. Now, again, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't pick Alex out of a lineup if you wanted me to. However, <laughs> I don't know. This is not the best color combination. So unfortunately, I wouldn't be running this skin. But let me know if it looks like Alex in the comment section below. And are you running around looking like Alex like this? Let's talk about it in the comments. Now, to me, while I love all these styles and variations that you can do, I think Mario is definitely the one I would try to pull off the most or obviously sticking to one of these pre-made sets. Right now, I'm running around looking like Bright Bomber and I love it. It goes well with the banana smoothie black bling. I think that's what it's called. What is it actually called? Smoothie back bling. Obviously, the sweaty star wand pickaxe, the hoverboard glider, in this color variation, I forget it's the middle one. Okay, because there's three different styles. I love this hoverboard. So the fact that I could use this with a dope skin like Tuna Fish and is that cartoon cell shaded as well is pretty cool. And I don't like contrails, so I try to go for one that's not over intrusive. And I love the Marvel one, the Bifrost. And I always use that no matter what. So. That's the contrail I'm rocking with. So let me know what you think about these tuna fish styles in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Fortnite, Call of Duty, Pokemon, whatever I feel like dropping the vibes on, I drop it here on the channel. So again, consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.